Question for Joe? Joe, any minute restriction for Chris Stapps tonight? Uh, no, that's good. Good to go. And how, how do you expect him to impact the offense now that he's back? And what do you learn about the offense having to navigate things without him for a few games? Uh, I mean, the offense without a few games, we saw it for all last season. So um, it was fine. And the offense with him uh, depends on what the matchup is, but he's got the ability to pick and pop those bigs. And if smalls are on him, we, can, we have to be able to get to our spacing and uh, give it to him in the post. So. Um, you know, he's a, a major component to our offense, especially late game offense versus teams that are switching. And uh, when we played New York last time, we did a great job of running mid pick and roll through him and, um, you know, pick and pops and his ability to make plays. So uh, just got to be effective versus different coverages that, uh, you know, teams throw at him. Coach, how's it going? All right. Um, what do you just make of this matchup between the Celtics and the Knicks, the history of it, and just the outcome that's been with you guys and the Knicks? You guys have had their number a couple of times. Just why do you think that is? I mean, it's just too, you know, they're a tough, tough team. Um, you know, they played us tough. I feel like we play them all the time. Like, first opening night, I feel like we played them three or four times, and obviously in the same division. And so they're a well coached team, very tough defensive team, and they test your discipline on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, it's a team that is going to, you know, expose you for what you're really good at and the things you have to get better at because of how tough they are and how, how good they defend. And uh, they really do a great job of controlling the pace of the game. They don't mind shooting into the shot clock. You know, last game they had four shot clock violations because they're going to work and, and try to get you into the matchup that they want. And so we just kind of stay disciplined. With, with Porzingis, the last game um, in the locker room, he said, you know, the Knicks, they play drop coverage. And, and because of that, that's why he's able to be so effective. When, when another team is playing drop coverage, do you make it a concerted effort to, to try to get him the ball in those pick and pop situations? Uh, mostly just to play through him, yeah. I mean, I think that's the progression, right? If they're in drop, how do we, uh, just mixing up his roles versus his pops. And if they're popping, can he get to the second side? Are they veering? Can he post the matchup? So it just, you know, uh, does the guard have the matchup? So it's really just us learning how to play versus those different coverages, uh, recognize them quickly, get to our spacing quickly, and then execute. Uh, you guys are obviously back home from the in-season tournament. Just what do you make now that you guys are, are over and done? What do, you, what do you make of the entire experience? Did you enjoy it? Are you good without it? What do you make? I, it's one of 82, so you got to play the games. Um, you know, it's a good experience. And like I said before, it gives you an opportunity to kind of simulate the process of winning. Um, but at the end of the day, it creates a level. It's a, it's a, it creates a level of emotion and distraction from what matters the most. And so you're obviously disappointed that you didn't get to that point. But anytime you achieve a goal or want to achieve a goal, you have to not only just look into that 24-hour period. So I wasn't as upset as the Indiana game as I was the Orlando game when we didn't play. And you have to be able to, yeah, we have to leave on Thanksgiving night. It's a two-hour flight. It's a quick turnaround. We had a back-to-back -back before that. So like, so many distractions go into wanting to achieve a goal. And you have to be, you have to fight like hell to eliminate those distractions of when you play the game. And to me, you don't get to pick and choose when you want to win. Winning requires you to do it every single day. And so it was good to simulate something like that. And we just got to continue to keep playing. Joe, 20 games into the season, people of our ilk have started with the MVP conversations, the all-star conversations. I kind of think the consensus is that's enough data. We can start to make proclamations about the season. From your vantage point, how do you feel about how well you know this team, how well some of your position can know their team. Like, do you think we're starting to see clarity with what trends are real and what trends maybe aren't real, or do you think it's still too early? Um, I mean, I think when you played a bunch of games without Chris Stapps, you played some without Drew, you have Al's going to sit back to back, guys are going to miss games, it's happened a little bit. Like, I think you, you, don't, you never want to be the same team uh, 60 games from now. So we have 60 games left. So. If we were to say we're a finished product and we're the same team 60 games from now, then we're probably not in the best possible position to see different things in the playoffs and have to win different ways. And so the most important thing is that we understand that we're a really good team, but we keep the open mind that we have to get better. Even when we feel like we're playing well, you just can't relax. We have to find ways to get better. We have to find ways to improve. We have to find ways to uh, just execute all the time. So I think it's more about that. It's like, do we, do we want to be at the our team right now, we want to be there, which the answer is no. What do you want to see that's different? As far as open mind, like it's gonna, you have to find different ways to win. You have to develop a different identity. You have to be able to go to different matchups. You have to be able to have different defensive coverages, different sets, how do you execute? And so like, um, 
if we're as good if we're going to be as good as we are in May as we are now, then I, I don't then I'm not as comfortable with that. So I don't mind going through growing pains. Uh, whatever we need to learn to figure out everything we need to know uh, to see different matchups, to play different styles, to win games differently, I'd rather have that in the regular season. Thank you, Joe. Six or seven, so um, I think all of our guys take pride in their individual defense, and when we're at our best, everybody on the floor um, has the ability to guard. And so I think it starts with those two, but you have to have a team full of those. And so different nights with our switching, there's going to be different guys on them. And so we all have to be ready to take tendencies, ready to understand what they do well, and take that away. And so at our best, everyone on the floor does that. Thank you. Thank you.